Hi everyone! Today we're going to see three different techniques that you can use to paint rust. To blend rust I use three colors, saffron yellow, traditional burnt sienna and red alert. We mix them in different proportions to make all the different shades we need. First, we're going to make a tin fence, like the one you can see on the background. The inner part of the cardboard will play the role of the fence. Then we begin layering. Layering is a common principle in all those three techniques. The first layer is the rust layer. Make it uneven, with different shades blended into one another, and let it dry completely. Next, we use this Calypso blue with a bit of white and black to make the peeled paint layer. It is very important to make your brush completely dry, so we let the paper towel soak up as much water as possible. Then, with light strikes, we create the second layer. Notice that in those fences the most rusty places are on the crests, since they are more exposed to the wind and overall environment. That's the final result, and if you feel like having more rust, just add it using the same dry brush technique. As you see, this wall has more dots of rust and paint, so we're going to use a sponge. Sometimes rust can come to a really dark, almost black color, so after having the base rust level, we're adding those black spots. Onto this layer we're adding the white paint, again using the sponge, and then we can alternate layers of orange, black and white until we get the result we like. Make sure that you use a clean and dry sponge for each color, because we don't want them to blend with each other and to get half transparent color. That would make it look off. That's what I've got in the end. It looks nice and uh, will sit well in some post-apocalypse. Here we're going to have steel panels with rivets that are common to large vehicles or ships or all kinds of industrial machinery. To make the rivets I use a relief paste that has that uh, three-dimensional effect and dries quickly, but we can get the same effect using some glass paint or simple 3D paint that you can find in art stores. We'll let the first level of rust dry completely. Then we're going to take some other color. I used this Hauser medium green for the paint. Here we work differently. We're going to use paint when it's still fresh and just scratch through it with some sharp object to reveal the lower level. To make the rivets stand out, we're going to paint rust around them, and then pinpoint the heads with our green paint.
For some final touches I'm going to use a very wet brush with much water with just a bit of orange to add this rusty undertone. Overall it really depends on which part of the machine you're doing, how much is it exposed to the environment and in which places exactly, how does the rain flow down and how many cracks and dents it has. So here are my three techniques of layering to paint rust. I hope it was useful. If you liked it, you can check out my channel for more interesting stuff and subscribe for the future videos. Bye!